told her to bring your bat shirt? Yeah. My bat shirt? To match my breath? Yes, sir. You want to do King of the Road? I'm afraid to try it. What key should I try it in, Thumb? King of the Road. Oh, you can try it in B, that's all. B and C. B and C. Uh, just think B flat because of the... Care. It's up to you. You know, the voice B thing. B might be better. Yeah. Have a little bass? Hey, you know, Thumb's the blue suit and the gold shirt look great. Women have to wear that all the time. I love them. Hey, yeah, we call it, we call it Roger Miller and the Bat Band. Roger hey. Miller and the Bat Band. Wasn't that Ralph Emery's line? Uh, Yes, that was my line. A, you, pardon us for being a little informal. You use my lines on any of those big network television shows. Do I get any, you know, residuals? Uh, no, we, because we can't spell Emory. I see. <laughs> I'll spell it for you. <laughs> Let's do King of the Road. We'll try yeah, King of the Road. 18 minutes till <clears throat> 7 o'clock. Traders for sale are rent. Rules to let 50 cents. No phone, no pool, no pets. I ain't got me no cigarettes, i been two hours of pushing broom by so eight by twelve four bit room, mama. Man of the means by no means, king of the road, third box car, midnight train, destination banger main, worn out certain shoes. I don't pay no union dues. That's more road stories I have found Short but not too big around I'm a man of means by no means King of the road I know every engineer on every train All of the children and all of their names Every hangout in every town And every lock that ain't locked when no one's around I sing traders for sale Thank you very much. <laughs> You're not supposed to applaud. It's not nice. Oh, I feel it's handy. <laughs> handy, yes. Yeah. Roger, you yeah. had a lot of success. You think success has spoiled Roger Miller? I hope not. Hmm? I hope not, because if you spoil, then you're no longer what made you what you were or something. To that effect. Is it difficult to take it all in stride? No. Hmm? No. You know, it's... it's Just it's... marry a nagging wife. That'll take your mind off of it. Oh, I see. Sure glad Lee is not in our viewing audience this morning. <laughs> well, she's in California. She's she? a great shot, too. What? Oh, is she? Yeah. I asked Roger earlier this morning, uh, with all of the success, the NBC television show that will be his in the fall, and everything else that's happened to him, it, it would seem only logical that uh, the next step would be movies. And you told me. And it's I'd... your story. I'd rather you tell it. No, I told you I don't know yet. Well, I, I want to be an actor. How many offers have you had, though? Yeah, we've had some offers. But... Well, if I got to tell... <laughs> I'm glad you didn't get his nose. Is that one of the highlights of the show? Yes. We, uh, we've, we've had offers, but you know, uh, I let my managers handle that. From every major studio? Just about, Just I guess. About. I you want me to brag and you're not going to no, get No, I want you to tell me the things you told me this morning because I know out there it's very interesting. The things I told you this morning, like I love you and this and that and the other, are kind of personal. <laughs> <laughs> no. You want I... me to tell about the hand-holding incident? No, no, no. Tell uh, about Otto Preminger. How about the Bedford incident? Uh... That sounded worse. Than yes, it did. Yeah, the Bedford incident is a late, is a movie. It's yes, just I recent. saw it. It's, about yeah, it's a wonderful ship. movie. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, anyway, Otto Preminger yes. got in touch with you. Mm -hmm. and you went to his office. And fell asleep. Fell asleep. Otto Preminger is about one of the biggest movie producers in Hollywood, isn't he? I guess so. I don't know. His office is in New York. Oh. But he's uh, 
Well, I presume he occasionally they gets say, to the coast. They say he's big. I don't know. I don't read it. I don't read these people, you know. Well, what happened? Uh, Roger goes in to see the man. The man gets a phone call. And while the man's on the phone, Roger goes to sleep. What do you do? You got, you got up and told Roger. He says, won't you, won't you go home and get some sleep? I said, thank you, I will. Bye. <laughs> the bigger they are, you know, the less I care sometimes. I, 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 I don't know how to s explain that. You, you are a great artist at p making people uncomfortable. <laughs> it's I'm not trying to make you uncomfortable. I know it. You're my good friend, but I hate you. Yeah. You want to sing one more I song before you, I let you, you know, off? Thank you a lot. You know. Thanks a lot. Well, shoot. Well, yes. I do it to myself. Do one more and I'll let you off the stool. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 uh. I'm through now. No. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. We're tax Just sing. We're taxing the laryngetic voice, you know? The golden voice of the 60s here. Wasn't well, that a nice thing to say? Jesus. Excuse me. I don't know what else I can do. Because uh, some of us have to think what has high notes and what doesn't. Do engine number nine, you got high notes? But it has a strain part in the end. You think I could do it? We can it? leave it out. Hmm, we can leave out the strainer. Okay, we'll try. Be natural. You think right. be natural? All right. <laughs> engine, engine number nine. Come down the railroad line. How much farther back can she get off? Old brown suitcase that she carried I've looked for it everywhere It just stay here among the rest And I'm a little upset Yes, tell me, engine, engine number nine Coming down the railroad line I know she got on in Baltimore mm -hmm. hundred and ten miles ain't much distance Sure do make a difference I don't think she loves me anymore Thank you That's it? Okay. <laughs> well then, let's have a word from our boy Bob Olson It's about uh, ten and a half minutes till seven o'clock in the morning here We'll be right back Okay, Furniture Company reminds you Two convenient locations now One in Madison, one on... Uh, Nolensville Road in Woodbine, soon to be a third great store. And one of the common features of all three stores will be quality furniture at budget prices. No money down up to three full years to pay and free and easy parking at both locations now and always at K Furniture Company. K Furniture Company, stop by and see them. You'll find the best. They're our friends, too. Ralph? Yeah. Roger, huh? let's introduce Charlie. Me? Remember the bit? What? <laughs> you remember the bit, don't yes, you? Yes, I do. Yes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Folks, we'd... Uh, My pleasure to present like this time... No boy's been on the one of the a long time. great stars of the Grand Ole Opry. Good, good singer, fine singer. Well, and, in uh, fact, one of the better singers. I think one of the all-time greats, as a matter of fact. I like his singing very much. And uh, we would, uh, we're delighted to have him on the show this we, morning. We're kind of proud to have From him. Fairview, we'd, Tennessee, he's a nice a guy. Fact. He's grew up on a farm. A lot of great hits life. over the years. He, uh, he and Raffin Hit after friends. hit after hit. And of course, Ralph one of the famous Lewin brothers. One of, one of Teddy and Doyle. And, and we, uh, uh, had, uh, it's my pleasure to present this time Charlie Lewis. Yes, Arnold Stang. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that they got that on tape and we'll uh, separate that later. Charlie, oh, you, you spoke. Have you ever done a Roger Miller song? Less and less. Less and less? Yes. Why don't you sing that this morning? Roger Miller song. Big... Uh, I could put that right on the end. A little exercise show here. Have I got, in the morning? Have, have I got time to do a, a little medley of. Uh, Lubin Brother song say it started back as far as 1950 and all right and then we'll put less and less right on the end of it all right did you get that get our old get